Tied Rugby Park yesterday as Kilmarnock and Hearts served up an entertaining 90 minutes with honours even at the end. Both managers will clearly feel they had the chance to win this one, but no one could have expected the goals glut after James Fowler's early chance was saved by Antti Niemi. Five minutes before half-time, it was the visitors who took the lead through an unlikely source. Arch defender Stefan Mahi managed to get himself into a forward role and his control and execution is something you would associate with a seasoned striker. The Frenchman's celebration was all the more amazing as referee Kenny Clark played the role of killjoy by booking him for what can only be deemed as inflammatory behaviour to the Kelly fans. Mahi's first goal for Hearts, well worth seeing again though, as the capital side ended the first half a goal in front. Craig Levine didn't have time to get his seat warm in the dugout as Killy hit back 60 seconds into the second half. Craig Dargo nipping into an area that the Hearts manager in his heyday used to defend so well. The match finally balanced at 1-1, but the pendulum now about to swing in the home side's favour. Tommy Johnson has settled in well at Kilmarnock and six minutes after drawing level, the former Celtic star showed all his predatory qualities to put the rugby park side in front. Quick thinking by Johnson in the box catches out the Hearts goalkeeper and Kilmarnock have the lead. The game looked dead and buried for Hearts in the 66th minute when Steve Murray made it 3-1 to Killy. Did he cross it? Or was it a brilliantly calculated chip into the roof of the net by the talented youngster? Bobby Williamson seemed happy enough, and by the time training no doubt starts on Monday morning, the youngster will clearly opt for the stroke of genius story on Killy's third goal. And now to the turning point in this game. Hearts needed a lifeline. Kenny Clark delivered it after a poor pass back put Gordon Marshall in trouble. Graham Weir upended, and Hearts with a penalty. The Kamala goalkeeper yellow carded and clearly unhappy at the decision which is still debatable as you look at it from another angle. Gary Hayes' header puts Gordon Marshall in all sorts of trouble, Graham Weir falling from the challenge from the Killy goalkeeper. Leading by example, Captain Stephen Presley set up a storming finish with a converted penalty. Three two now, and with Killy desperate to hang on, the unthinkable happened four minutes from time. The luck favoured Hearts as Tommy Gronlin's shot took a wicked deflection to deceive Gordon Marshall and give Hearts a share of the points. It's a sore goal to lose, and Craig Levine will easily be the happier manager of the two at the end of this tale. It ended all square, three apiece at rugby.